It's been so much fun. I mean, just having the opportunity to come out every night and experience different crowds and meet different people and it's just been just the most fun ever. I've never had the opportunity to come out and do my own headline show in the in the US. I toured with Troy Savan and did um, the second leg of his US tour and that was just like the most fun ever and there's just something so special about audiences here in America. It's really fun. Album two, album three, album four, album five. I just want to keep releasing albums. I just want to. I just want to do what I'm doing right now, but on a larger scale. It's, it's just been growing in such like a, in in such a positive way, and it's just been amazing. Um, just the best experience of my life, and I never want it to stop. Especially when, when doing collaborations, um, it has to be a song that, that I really relate to, a song that I feel could essentially be on my album, a song that I feel personally really close to. And, and especially Scared to be Lonely is one of those songs that it's, it's just really relatable and it's one of those songs that you can listen to while you're driving in the car, you can listen to it in the club, you can listen to it at home alone. It's, it's really universal and there's just something so magical about it that I really love. Um, a little bit of everything. Um, I, I love Sampha. I love his new album, Process. Um, I think it's a, a beautiful body of work. I love uh, Khalid. Um, I only recently listened to his album and I think it's really great. Um, uh, you've got bits of Katy Perry in there. You've got Gaga in there. There's, there's literally everything. Um, the, yeah. So many great songs out at the moment, it's crazy. There's this guy called Steve Lacey. Um, he's been releasing some crazy music and um, Childish Gambino, that album's amazing, yeah. My, my music is pop music, but it's, it's very diverse. It touches on different genres because of my love for different genres and different artists. And um, I've, I've gone from describing it as, as dark pop because of, you know, my love for, for the honesty in, in hip hop and being able to really tell a story but essentially then make a big pop chorus um, to now it being progressive pop um, because, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs>